Hello there and a very happy new year to you. Well, we ended 2022 on a very unsettled note. There was lots of heavy rain around, which led to localised flooding and also some snow and ice, particularly across Scotland. But things look a lot better across the southern half of the country for New Year's Day, the 1st of January. Uh, there will be some sunshine around, but further showers further north and we hold on to the rain and sleet and snow across much of Scotland. So further disruption possible from localised flooding and also uh, from icy conditions. Bright and early on this uh, New Year's morning. Matt, morning to you. Happy New Year and an early Happy night for you, no doubt, like me last night. It was, but there you go. That's part of the joy of these morning shifts, isn't it? Very good morning. I bet there's a few more like that uh, walrus thaw at the moment this morning. But uh, if you are up and out early and planning to do anything with your day, it's a little bit cold, a little bit wintry for some, particularly across Scotland. We've got snow falling quite extensively at the moment in central northern areas, quite icy with it. Matt, Happy New Year. Morning to you. Happy New Year to you, Roger. Yes, we've got a little bit of uplifting weather uh, coming out our way, but let me first head towards the US and Canada. Uh, we're roughly 20 minutes away from uh, New Year reaching the West Coast, and can you believe it, after talking about drought so much in California over the past year, it's hammering it down, particularly in Los Angeles at the moment. So that may give you a few crumbs of comfort if you got caught by the rain uh, through uh, yesterday evening here. Uh, batches of cloud, though, there and across the Atlantic, set to push into our shores through these coming few days. Good morning, Roger. Good morning to all. Happy New Year if you're just joining us. Uh, let's just quickly jump back to yesterday before we see what the first few days of 2023 have got in store. Maybe a cold and wintry one across parts of Scotland uh, into New Year's Eve, but very mild further south. And that milder weather was replicated across much of Europe. Some places around 10 to 15 degrees above average. And in Belgium, we saw our warmest ever December day to see the last day of the year out. 17.5 degrees recorded there. A bit warmer still in Western Poland, which made it their warmest ever New Year's Eve. It's just incredible warmth after what was a very warm year across much of uh, Europe too. Good afternoon and a happy new year to you. We had a real range of conditions across the UK as we started 2023. In parts of Scotland, snow was falling this beautiful shot from one of our weather watchers in the Highlands where temperatures last night got almost all the way down to minus nine Celsius. Compare that with 11 degrees above freezing in parts of southern England. The mildest weather was in the south. And through the first week of the year, I think mild weather will win out for much of the time. There will be some outbreaks of rain, but equally some drier and chillier interludes. Hello to you again. Very good afternoon to you and Happy New Year. We've got a good deal of rain in the next few hours for many locations. A little soggy out there, but sunshine returns as we slide into tomorrow. Just light winds and with these conditions, frosty and icy in places as we go into the first stages of 2023. Hello there. Good evening to you and Happy New Year. Good evening to you. The first day of 2023 brought mixed fortunes of weather across the board. And indeed, the first week of January 2023 looks quite changeable. For most of us, it's going to be on the mild side with spells of wet and windy weather at times too. But we will have some drier, chillier, more settled uh, interludes as well. From all of the team, Happy New Year.